Hi, this is Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can create magnets using the Digital Project Life by Stampin' Up! downloads, as well as the many pocket card downloads that are available. I'm using the My Digital Studio program from Stampin' Up! because at $19.95, it's an amazing tool to have in your crafting tool chest. However, you don't need My Digital Studio to work with our digital downloads. Our downloads will work with other programs, so you're free to purchase them if you have other programs that you like. One of the things that I love about My Digital Studio is that it doesn't require any kind of computer knowledge, and of course, any purchases through Stampin' Up! always come with me, the demonstrator, to assist you in using them. So let's take a look at how, again, easily it was to create these magnets today. When you first open my digital studio you will see this screen here new project options and because I wanted to maximize the eight and a half by eleven printable magnetic sheet that I have and you can find details for that at remarkablycreated.com I chose the photo books and individual pages and I chose to work with the eight and a half by eleven portrait size and when you click on that it will just start a whole new screen for you. So let's just go ahead and we'll open that up Create your own is what I want, and I'm going to do PL Magnets as what I'm doing. We're going to click Open, and it will give me a nice blank screen to work with. The gray area that you see around it is area that might not print if you are not using the borderless feature with your printer. So you don't want anything to go into those edges if your printer doesn't print to the edge. I find that this can be visually distracting when I'm creating, and so I come up here to View come down here to um, bleed area and I uncheck it so that I have a blank full sheet of paper that I can see without that gray area. When you download my digital studio digital pocket cards what happens is they are automatically filed for you. They are filed under the embellishments category. When you click on browse you come all the way down here to digital oops I went past it I went too fast sorry about that to digital kits and now you just look for the name of the kit and here it is everyday adventure project life embellishments if you don't want to do that or you can't remember the name you can come to the search feature and I can type in the word project life and it will search all of the categories that I've told it to search by checking these boxes for project life cards project life stamps project life anything that is associated with project life here you can see a lot of the stamps and then the pocket cards would also come up so you can also do it that way and I love the search feature because it's one less thing I have to commit to memory but let's go ahead and let's drag one of the cards over to our work surface one of the things that happens is when you drag this card over a work or design center will open one of the benefits and features of using digital downloads direct from Stampin' Up! with My Digital Studio as opposed to any other program out there is you get these design centers and now I can recolor this maybe I don't want the oranges maybe I wanted it to have a blue scale I can do that I wanted a pink and red scale so I can color it like that I can put drop shadows behind it I can crop it so maybe I just want a piece of it for whatever reason I can go ahead and crop it I can mirror it so I can do lots of things with it right here in the design center and the appropriate design center opens up for what I'm trying to do but let's now go back to our original there we go the other thing is is that when you drag the project life card over to the screen it automatically comes in as a 4x3 size which was exactly the size that I needed for the magnets that I wanted to do because I wanted to utilize this page and so I simply just grabbed six of them that I wanted to work with and print and I turn some of them by coming up here to the corner and I just squeeze six of them onto my sheet and I was able to then print them one of the other things that you can do and let's just grab these and move these out of the side center is that you can enlarge them you may get a warning that says um, this may cause it to pixelate and I'll show you that here and let's just take this and I'm gonna grab the corner and I'm going to drag it until I see the red line move across to four inches and here you can see that may cause it to pixelate. You may want to run a test print on a scrap piece of paper to see if indeed it looks pixelated. What I have found is enlarging it to four by six it still prints beautifully at least with my Epson 810 printer. And so again you want to grab one of the four corners when you're enlarging and it will enlarge it proportionately. If you grab any of these middle ones to enlarge that's when it will start to distort it. 
you can see here how it got distorted by grabbing those. So again, you want to print them. For me, with my printer, what I did to print is I came up here to Project, to Share, clicked on Export, and just to say changes, I'm going to say no at this point, I don't want to save changes. I told it that I wanted to save it as a JPEG. You also have the options of PNG and PDF. And then I told it what photo, hit finish, and then I went ahead and printed it as I would any other document as a full-size um, sheet of paper. And that's what gave me the image that you see with the six um, Project Life cards on the magnetic sheet. One other fun option that you have is you have the option of creating SVG files from any of our digital Project Life cards. So that's a really cool feature for those of you using e-cutters. So I hope you have fun using your Project Life digital downloads from Stampin' Up! As other things besides just inserts in your Project Life albums, I think it opens a whole nother world of crafting and creativity. So thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by our blog hop at RemarkablyCreated.com today.